Good morning students. Today we are going to learn on relative bond or it also known as coordinate bond. Okay, what is dative bond? Dative bond is a kind of covalent bond where the electron pair that is shared come from. Covalent bond is formed through sharing of electrons, right? So, so during this sharing, as what you have learned earlier, they will contribute equal number of electrons for sharing to form the covalent bond, right? So, for DD bond, the sharing of electron is not contributed by both uh, atoms. It only comes from one atom which have the lone pair. So, let's look at the example of molecules which has the DD bond. Okay, formation of ammonium ion. This formation of ammonium ion occurs when the ammonia gas dissolves in water. Now, let's look closely on the Lewis structure of ammonia gas or ammonia molecule. Now, as you can see here, ammonia molecule consists of 1 nitrogen and 3 hydrogen. The bond that is formed between the nitrogen atom and the hydrogen atom in the molecule of ammonia is called covalent bond. So during this formation of covalent compound of ammonia molecule, let's look at the nitrogen atom here. As you look closely to the nitrogen atom, as you know that nitrogen electron arrangement is 2, 5, they have 5 valence electron. Out of the 5 valence electron, 3 electrons, the valence electron have contributed for sharing with 3 atoms of hydrogen. In return, the nitrogen atom has two valence electron which is not involved in the covalent bond and this electron is known as lone pair. Okay, so during the formation of ammonium ion where when the ammonia gas dissolve in water, the ammonia molecule will react with the hydrogen ions. As you can look at hydrogen ion, which is lack of lone pair of electrons, right? So, when ammonia molecule in contact with hydrogen ion, what will happen is nitrogen atom from ammonia molecules will share its lone pair of electrons, its both electrons, uh, valence electron, with hydrogen ion. Hence, nitrogen atom is known as donor electron. Because nitrogen atom contributes both its two valence electron, which is the lone pair of electron to be shared with hydrogen ion. Hence, the nitrogen atom is known as donor of electron in formation of dative bond. In return, the hydrogen ion will receive the lone pair of electron from the nitrogen atom from ammonia molecules and act as an acceptor of electron. In return of the contribution of the shared lone pair of electron by the nitrogen atom to the hydrogen ion, it will form an ammonium ion. It will form an ammonium ion. So, in the formation of ammonium ion, the very important as you can see here, these three bonds are known as covalent bond and the dative bond because of the two valence electron contributed by the nitrogen to the hydrogen. Okay, so this is what called as a dative bond. So, during the formation of the ion due to dative bond, you have to use the arrow to show the location of the dative bond. That means when you show the arrow this way, it shows that the nitrogen atom sharing its lone pair with hydrogen. And the whole thing will be positively charged. Okay, the second ion involved in formation of dative bond is hydrozonium ion. And this formation of hydrozonium ion occurs when you dilute acid with water. Okay, let's look closely on the Lewis structure of water molecules. As we have learned in the formation of water molecules, 
one oxygen atom will share its electron with two atom of hydrogen and form two single covalent bond in return there are four valence electron of oxygen atom which is not involved in covalent bond so over here we have two pairs of lone pair okay this is one lone pair this is a second lone pair so during the dilution of acid with water what happened is the water molecules will react with the hydrogen ion from an acid so during this moment look at hydrogen ion hydrogen ion do not have any electrons in their outermost shell so when water molecules in reaction with hydrogen ion what will happen is one lone pair from oxygen atom will be shared with hydrogen ion okay when lone one lone pair of oxygen atom is shared with hydrogen ion okay so that they can able to achieve a stability then it will derive in the formation of hydrogenium ion can you see here this is shows here is the formation of dirty bond so out of two lone pairs one lone pair had been shared out to hydrogen thus they form hydrogenium ion by this formation of hydrogenium ion the oxygen able to achieve stable of the electron arrangement and in return the hydrogen atom able to achieve stable duplex electron arrangement